this is actually a little bit near and dear to my heart. Um, so infectious disease doctors, we, you know, whether you have COVID or a staph infection or HIV, we treat everyone. And so I have, you know, expertise in a lot of, you know, these areas. But what my research is on is on fungus. Um, and so uh, Missouri is a great place for fungal growth where we have the Mississippi River, the Missouri River, the Ohio River, they all kind of come together. It's warm, it's humid. Um, and so there's a, there's a type of a fungal infection where in my patients that I treat in clinic, I see a similar sort of, they get infected, I treat it, I know the infection's clear, but they remain tired and they have headaches and confusion. And so one of the things that the pandemic has brought into focus is that there's probably lots of conditions, post-infectious syndromes, whether it's, you know, a bacteria, a virus, you know, fungus in my case, um, that people have this and we need to figure out why. And the pandemic sort of brought this to light because fungal infections aren't very common, especially sort of the systemic ones that make you really sick. Um, and so it's kind of been ignored and kind of pushed to the side. Um, one report kind of put the number of people that had long-term effects from COVID like over 50%, which if you think about the millions and millions of people who have been infected, that's millions and millions of people who have long-term effects. And luckily, um, because of lots of sort of advocacy by you know folks like yourself, um, We've heard, the NIH has heard, they've actually now put tons of money, sort of taking it from Peter to pay Paul, which is, we need to figure out what's going on. And so that's actually one of the things that I personally am researching to try to figure out the answer to that. Um, I'm not doing it directly in COVID because I feel like we need to have a comparison. So that way we can say the immune system reacts in this way for histoplasmosis, this way for COVID. Is that a shared pathway? Is that a different pathway? So we're going at it from a bunch of different ways to try to get that done for you.